Welcome back to the channel, I'm OP, and in today's episode, we will be going over some of the best highlights from the matchup between T1 and HLE during round two of the LCK 2024 Spring Playoffs. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. At this point, Ona gonna start off the bobs. I'm pretty sure Delight knows what's going on. Peanut is going to dive out as the hook comes out of nowhere. Thanks for that one, Jonah Strong, for the jump scare as they do find the permafrost onto Ona. The flashes come forward, and there is first blood going to the Sejuani and health and now Zayas is potentially in trouble finds a gold card onto Peanut who will throw out the ulti and eventually flashes his way out still owner is able to lock down the kill now Doran he's going to get taken down as well the gold card is going to connect and he's not going to be able to get the follow up and T1 they punish hard as Doran is here on this top side doesn't have his teleport available the Twisted Fate still on top side of the map as well as Ona going to safeguard his way in, and he's just going to steal it away. It's highway robbery from this Lee Sin. He's even able to interrupt Peanut, who does get the permafrost. Viper now looking for an opportunity, but the kickback is too good. Empress Divide also fantastic, and the burst fire is there. Carrier going to get taken down into his zombie form, and he's going to find no value. And Wolf, are we certifying it? I'm going to certify it. I've got my stamp out right. He can't do anything here, and Corky can't do anything either. Whoa. There's a lot of people here in this top lane. Sorry to interrupt. No, it's all right. We're going to see whether Peanut can actually try and get some sort of gank working as uh, in goes Doran, finds a Counter-Strike onto two Q Connect here. But the dredge line, the depth charge, absolutely fantastic here from Delight. Still, there is the package delivered right underneath the turret. No one's gone down just yet, though. Another hook is going to connect as they're trying to juggle. And there is the kill going over to Delight. Zekka's coming up. Yeah, this is starting to get scary. These health bars are relatively low. But Zekka is kind of here by himself. So and he doesn't have ult. Yeah, it's not exactly a, uh, a kill opportunity. Down this early Senna right now on Hanwha Life's side. And I think opting into this and losing another fight into this area is just opting into losing the second game. Yeah, owner is on vision, remember. It's Zekka is just going to deliver him to the rest of Hanwha Life. And Viper is now on a killing spree. It's a disaster for T1. Ganking Zeri, uh, the most unexpected of gankers as he is now just going to shove this wave towards the turret. This has been, like, the most unfettered Zeri ever. The Scion, as they are going to try to come over here and contest this Herald now, Hanwha Life, they win this one. It's pretty much lights out, and T1 just walk away. And that is the concern of this accelerated Zeri. And I mentioned this in draft, I feel like the Scion can't really do what a Nautilus can do. Scion is kind of an ult button and a very large Q that if you stand in, you know, he makes an impact in the fight. If you don't, he doesn't do what a Nautilus does. And he's just a victim of vision. Yeah. And this is going to be the mid turret going down before the charge even happens. And so now Shelly going to keep that health bar as Doran does have his counter strike. And it's going to be difficult here for uh, Ona to find too much. Does just to be very cautious. This. He can both get this outer turret bottom side and make an impact here top side. There's that TP. Oh, yeah. And now the flash forward from Delight. He'll find the depth charge onto Gumiyushi in this center. He's in a lot of trouble. Zaka going to fly on over. Does find the Arise. And then the Sand Soldiers will finish the job. Doran know that this guy is always just going to be good in a team fight. Could we be looking at exactly what I was saying before, where it's T1 falling down 0-2, as this might mean no, as Dawning Shadow is going to fly on over as well, and there goes the Azir. Now, Doran, that is an unfortunate teleport, if ever I've seen one, as Carrier with a celebratory faceplant into the wall. Very strange exchange, as he will be able to get uh, Doran's teleport in his flash as well, but... Okay, Hook is going to connect here as there's the ulti out from Viper. Faker now in a whole lot of trouble as the Piercing Darkness comes in, but the flash forward from Viper says no. And now the Mega Cone from Gumiushi still. Viper able to get these burst fires over, just dashes over the wall. There's the Extendo Beam, but good sidestep from Gumiushi still. Necessarily ultimately matter that much as Doran is still Jacks in the side here. And now that he's shadowed, now that they push the Santa away, he should be able to get this turret as well. We'll put Hanwha two turrets up on T1. A fed Zeri and make proactive plays as Carrier Fail flashes the wall ah, there. And yeah. that's why he ulted like that. And uh, it's a little bit rough as Faker gets caught here as well by Delight, who just feels like he is everywhere, man. It's a global Nautilus. <laughs> He's just involved in every single fight that T1, or rather the Hanwha. There they go. Hanwha have already backed away from this one. There is a kick forward. Good Arctic Assault there, but Doran still going down so incredibly low. Delight also having to flash away. Is there's a flash Empress Divide, but it's whipped entirely from Zekker, and T1 will punish immediately. Now Viper still trying to get damage down, able to buffer 
That gold card nicely, but now with a man advantage, T1, they might just move over to the Baron themselves. Oh man, Zeka's going to be feeling that one tomorrow. He better stay <laughs> off the internet for a little while, as that was such a cool idea. But the rest of his team was clearly backing out. He goes for it anyways. Now, Hollow Life, they're not just going to go quietly into that good night. They've got to fed Zeri. Oh, yeah. They're going to contest. These extended beams are scary. There is the hook in, but he's not as tanky as he was last game. And Delight will just immediately get punished. Enot has Flash. Yeah, they want to try and get on in here. Doran's at full health now as Viper has pressed that ultimate button. This is kind of a Zeri fight, and he's going to take out Zayas first. Into the pit they go, but the Baron is still going to go over to T. Uses packages here, and he may just simply opt into the fights they know they have guaranteed prio on to avoid getting packaged at whatsoever. Whoa, there's another flash forward here as Empress Divide is going to be used just to get Zayas out of here. The ulti comes through from Viper. He does do a lot of damage, but T1, the Phalanx... Try to deal with him in this side, but it is a Jax inside. He's looking for Faker, actually. I don't know yeah. about this. Faker is going to have to flash, but there's a flash through from Doran. Dawning Shadow does come down, but there is another leap strike. And Doran gets himself out, and... Okay, Doran. <laughs> I mean, he's, that's, uh, he's starting to become scary. Yeah, that was a... A little bit of a gank attempt there from T1. 44 minute, uh, seconds prior to this Baron. Ooh, Kino. She could be in trouble. This might to break the shield. Does manage to find the ulti. And boom goes the dynamite. Six and zero now for Viper. And Hummer Life Esports, they can have control of the river. How do you like that? Necessarily a target that you can burst down. Still, they get the destiny out from Zeus who is now just going to turn his attention back towards this Baron one more time as well. He's found his way in behind enemy lines. Good zoning smash there from Carrier, but they're losing control quickly as Viper is level 16. Yeah, package is going to be delivered just to Peanut here as it was probably wearing off. And now Delight going to answer with that death charge. The flash over from Viper, the Assassin Zeri! And Owner is going to kick him away, but it's not going to be anything that's actually able to help out here. Is now Carrier taking damage. Owner will be taken down. There goes the jungler, and T1 are falling apart. Somehow that Glacial Prison connects onto Carrier. And now five versus three. Hummel Life Esports will start off the Baron. Another hook is going to connect Zeka. on Zeus and Zeka is going to make up for that ultimate from earlier. Peanut finds the Arctic Assault Flash and Zeus will be taken down. His opposite knocking up the double and there's the Baron for Hummel Life. Hummel Life Esports going to take this Baron and with it control over the map for the foreseeable future, if not for the rest of this game. Carrier, very tanky. See if he can get his way out of this one. Yeah, don't it's a think mortal so. combat. Here on the top side of the map, Doran is going to break that vow. And Carrier is running the wrong direction. He is likely going to die here. His ult is coming up. will almost be the ace, uh, but it's not actually. As T1, as Guma is trying to kite back into the front line, but Owner is isolated. And Guma is eventually going to get caught by Zekka as he does come in for this follow up. And look at this. We'll watch it forward. I turn on the Baron. Guma's like, well, I have to do damage. Are done. I don't know if the Zeri dies ever. Yeah, he is an absolute monster. He definitely hasn't died so far this game. As there is a knock up on a Peanut, and Peanut does not care about it whatsoever. 6,000 gold the lead for Hummel Life Esports. They denied the soul. That is not all that relevant because it's Chemtech Hook just barely going to whiff there from Delight. As you can see, Zayas just trying to push out these waves so that Hummel Life ridiculous. He is our highest level in the game as Delight is going to find Zayas. In goes Doran as well, and they will be able to lock him down. Gumiyushi, he just pops like a balloon, but still, Delight taking a lot of damage. The package delivered. Ona looks for the opportunity. Empress Divide avoided, but he can't avoid the prison. And now Faker has to flash away. He does manage to take down the Jack. The Extender Beam avoided as well. But he's still moving the wrong direction. I don't think it's going to be enough to save them. It's only three kills. TP. And Faker might be able to keep himself alive. But Peanut is going to come on over. He flashed and it shall lock him down. As you mentioned, the teleport out from Faker. But still, Hummelite Esports now. They've got Nexus turrets in their eyes. And they've got a match point that they're looking to secure. They could just go back and take Baron here. Very... Uh Funny series of events, you know, the fact that they try to flash on Faker to stop his TP, the fact that he gets out means that T1 actually have these respawns coming, but Carrier, yeah, and Hanwha Life Esports just put Doran in the top lane, continue to push this, and they say checkmate. Yeah, well, there's the control one, it goes down, Zayas is going to get knocked up, and there is nothing he could do about it. Viper, 9-0-4. and four. On the Zeri, he has gone from problem to disaster for T1, and Hanwha Life Esports are going to head towards this Baron pit and look to try and push for the final time.
If you're a believer in the butterfly effect, if you're a believer in, in dominoes falling over, it all started on that poor dragon take from T1 where owner got the smite steal, but Zeri got two kills. Ordinarily small. Zonia's for Zekka, Zonia's for Doran. There's no way to mess this up if you play it carefully in Hanwha R. Yeah, they're doing the very best. Carrier has a gigantic health bar, but he just can't really do anything else to stop Harmalife Esports from uh, getting on in here, making things happen. Guardian Angel done for Viper, so they're going to have to kill him twice in this fight if they are actually going to be able to hold on to this game. But you can see there are multiple Siege minions still bearing down on the base. And now Doran goes in. He finds the Counter-Strike onto Zayas. And now Zekka gets in there. The explosion of damage is now they're in range of Viper. And that means that it's Harmalife Esports in range of winning this series with match point now available. Anwa Life showing up in a big... These were some of the best highlights from the LCK 2024 Spring Playoffs matchup between T1 and HLE. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.